Hello, everyone. Good morning. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Yay. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, teacher. I can hear you guys. Good morning, awesome. teacher. Good morning. Yesterday, we had some problems with the recording, so wanted to try once again with Google Meet. I know we had problems before, so hopefully today we won't have problems. At least I can hear you, so that's progress. And hopefully I'm recording. So yesterday there was no recording for yes for the class. Uh, I tried to provide a summary of what we did. I always like to try to record all of our classes so that you guys at least have an option to go back, if you need to, to see what we talked about. So we'll see today how things go with, uh, with Google Meet and whether or not we continue with Google Meet or not. We'll... Play it by ear. Play it by ear. What does that mean when I say, we'll play it by ear? What do you think? What does it mean to play something by ear? Like this is your ear, so you play it by ear. Any ideas? Mm, no. <laughs> Have you heard that expression, play it by ear? Any, no, I'm not. Any musicians? No. It's like, oh, go ahead. It's like you have to be paying like too much attention to what they're saying uh, because there's not going to be uh, any way to remind what they say. All right. So let me, uh, let me give you again the example that I used today. So if I say... We're going to use Google Meet today, and maybe we'll use it in the future. We'll play it by ear. What do I mean in this context if I'm talking about Google Meet, and if I say we're going to play it by ear with regard to Google Meet? What do I mean? Any ideas? <laughs> no, teacher. Um, how many of you are musicians? And specifically, how many of you play a musical instrument? Guitar, piano, drums, clarinet, flute, trumpet, trombone, tuba, how many of you play the tuba? Anybody play an instrument, a musical instrument? Because this phrase comes from playing by ear. Anybody play an instrument? Yes, did you? Okay, what do you play? Uh, is that uh, Maria Jose? Yeah. Okay, what do you play? Mm, well, um, like uh, ukulele. Ukulele. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So, do you read music? Can no. you read music? <laughs> no. No? Okay. No. So, in this example, I could say that Majo plays the ukulele by ear. She plays a musical instrument, the ukulele, by ear because she doesn't read music. Okay. Right? So she hears something and then she plays it. Is that right? Yeah. So when you play a musical instrument, if you cannot, if you don't read music, but you just listen to a song, you listen to something and you can play kind of what's in your head or what you hear, you're playing by ear. But this phrase also means that you will see how it goes so you will play it by ear means that you will kind of improvise okay because it's a type of imp improvisation so if i say we're going to continue using google meet to see how it works we'll play it by ear this means that we're going to try it and if we have problems in the future we will change we will adapt we will 
go back to Microsoft Teams or we'll try some other platform. So this is a very common idiomatic expression in English that means that you will improvise, you will adapt to the situation. Okay? So this is a really good um, idiomatic expression to use and it comes from music, right? We, a lot of our idiomatic expressions comes from sports, some comes from music, and this is a, a really good one to, to, uh, to use. Play it by ear. All right, guys, today what I'd like to do, and um, before I give you the instructions for today, uh, I want to remind everyone that we're going we're to come back at 940 because I want to give you We'll sum up the class, we'll conclude the class, but I'll also, I want to give you some important information about uh, some assignments, one particular assignment, okay? Uh, but today what I'd like to do is, and I've done this uh, once or twice, I think, before in other classes. I want to give you a link to a page that includes a video that includes the instructions that I would like for you do, to do today. So. I like to do these types of activities with you so that that you can listen to the video as many times as you want to try to get the instructions for what I would like for you to do today. It's a it's a listening activity in a sense. It's a listening and speaking activity today in class, but the the reason that I want to provide you the instructions in the video is so that you can rely completely on the video to try to understand what I would like for us to do today in class. This activity I want, to, want you to try to complete in class, but of course, if you don't finish, you can do it outside of class. But try to complete as much as you can today in class. I'm gonna give you a link to the page now that you can access where you can find the video, and you can also include well, you can find basically everything that you need for completing this task. All right, so I just included the link, and I'm going to give you the rest of the today to complete this task. I'm going to stay online as always. If you have questions, come back to this chat to ask. If you need to close this session and come back, that's fine, but... Uh, do come back at 9.40 for, uh, for our closing. And, of course, you can send me messages in Microsoft Teams. I'll be checking there if you have questions or if you want me to meet with, your, uh, with you uh, in Microsoft Teams. All right, so let's go ahead and begin now with this activity and begin by accessing the video that you can find in this link that I just provided in the chat. I'm gonna go ahead and mute my mic. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, teacher, thank you. Hey, teacher. Teacher. Yes. Um, if it's a problem, it's a problem if we like, um, Enter with our Gmail, well, email, <laughs> con nuestro correo normal de electrónico, no con el de la uni. Uh, for Google Meet? No, for the um, activity. Um, it's not a problem. I don't think it's necessary to sign in. I could be, I don't think, is it? Sí, al principio nos pide que continuar con Google, con Apple o con otro email, pero al momento de agregar el email de la UNI, pues no me deja atrás. So it asks for a, you have to sign in, you can't see the page? No, we can't. We can. Okay, all right. Um, I, just, all right I, I just made a change, guys. Try again, please. Sorry about that. Try now. You should be able to access the page. That was my mistake. I had a, there's a setting for the page, but try now, maybe uh, refresh your screen. Creo que ya. Sí, ya. Okay. That was my mistake. Sorry, guys. Sí, ya se puede. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. 
make sure I'm recording here. Okay, let me start again because it wasn't recording. All right, so uh, it's 9.40, guys. We're going to go ahead and complete today's class. I just sent a message to each of you via Microsoft Teams chat with the percentage. This is the percentage from yesterday's uh, TOEFL exam. Take a look at the percentage. Anything lower uh, than 50%, okay, uh, really concentrate and find every opportunity to listen as much as possible, including, of course, your podcast. This is one of the reasons why we're doing a podcast each week is so that you, number one, are looking and finding information that is of interest to you. And second, you're you're building a routine, right? Something that you're doing hopefully each day so that you're getting as much exposure to the language as possible. So it's very important. Both reading skills and listening skills are very important uh, when you're developing any language. And so really take every opportunity to read as much as you can and to listen as much as you can, because that's going to also help you not only with your listening comprehension, but also your speaking. So um, we're going to have another listening practice tomorrow and if all goes well we'll have a third one on friday okay so tomorrow at eight o'clock we'll have another review so again make sure you're here on time we'll it'll be exactly like we've done in the past okay and um, we'll continue working this week really focusing on our listening comprehension uh, using the uh, the TOEFL now, the second thing I wanted to mention, guys, about the podcast, I'm really enjoying what I'm hearing. Uh, I liked the uh, the interviews that you guys were doing. There were a couple of cases where some of you, um, if I remember right, I think uh, Jazz and your partner, I think Nicole, if I'm not mistaken, make sure that you're creating separate files. Okay, so um, I remember, Jazz, I think you're, recording was the same for both so if you could take a look at that and create separate podcast files interviewing each other now some of you um some of you that those of you who were asking questions um you included it as part of your episode some of you included your own episode as you answering the questions and i'll take either way um, the instructions were that the the questions that you were generating would be your own podcast, but I'll take either either one as long as they're separate uh, separate files. Okay, one for each of you, then that's fine. Okay, there's no problem. So double check the uh, double check your grades in Microsoft Teams because I think for a couple of you, some of you, I left some notes. And if if you received a zero and I missed something, if there is something that maybe you did it and I just missed it, please double check your grades and send me um, an email, uh, not an email, but a message in chat to review again your podcast. Okay, so you, you still have an opportunity to create it if you need to. Uh, but please try to do that within a couple of days. Send me an email, send me a chat, and I'll check your grade and I'll check your podcast. Okay, so I want to make sure that uh, we're all caught up uh, with regard to your podcast. Now, some of you are not doing your podcast, and that's up to you, right? You're getting a grade for just participating in these podcasts. But for me, these podcasts are really, really important because I want – you guys to get used to speaking in English. I mean, that's the whole purpose of these. All right. So, I mean, if, of all the activities that we do, I, these are one of the most important because I want you to feel comfortable with speaking in English. And the only way to do that is to do it, is to find something that is of interest to you, find people that you enjoy talking with, and take every opportunity to speak in English. And of course, in our class, I want you to get used to speaking to each other as soon as possible in English at all times, not just during our class, of course, but every every situation that you find yourself in, in any of the classes that you're taking 
this semester in Prope, really force yourself to speak in English, even when no one else is around, even when uh, your teachers aren't around to check and, and nag and give you a hard time for speaking in English instead of in Spanish, you take it upon yourself. You force yourself to speak in English with your classmates, and that's hard to do. I know that. It's hard to do because it feels strange. You feel silly. You feel insecure. All of those feelings are perfectly normal, but the only way that you're going to learn to feel less uncomfortable is to go through that period of feeling uncomfortable and just say, hey, I accept it. I accept this is weird, it's strange. I, I accept that, you know, I, I'm not going to be able to express myself like I can in Spanish, but I'm going to try because that's the only way that over time you get better, right? And you will get better. I mean, there's just no doubt that you will get better if you take those opportunities to do it. This is not, uh, I can't give you a magic pill, a magic potion, magic spell. I can't, it doesn't matter who I am or who your teachers are. It's up to you. And this is not just because we're online, right? Of course, this might apply a little bit more because we're the teachers and we're not together face to face, right? But take it upon yourself. Say, I'm going to get the most out of this semester by taking every opportunity to speak and listen and read and write in English because that is the purpose of Prope. Get the most out of it. I don't want you to leave this semester and next, the second semester after having taken one year of Prope and say, well, I didn't really learn that much, you know, and we were online and, and that was why, and you have all these excuses. Right? I don't want you to be in that position. I don't want you to be in that situation. I want you to look back and say, I took every opportunity and did the best that I could and got the most out of this experience, even though it may not have been ideal. Maybe it wasn't perfect, but I took every opportunity and got the most and did the best that I, that I can. And you know what your best is. And if you're doing your best, wonderful. But I want you to make sure that you're honest with yourself and you take our advice, all of your teacher's advice, right? Even though it's it's difficult sometimes, okay? So podcast, double check your podcast. Um, I'm in the process of looking at other grades as well. So bear with me. I'm going to need a couple of days to catch up with, with the grading. But please double check your podcast, double check your grades, make sure that you're sending me messages if I need to look at something, if I miss something, mm, take a look at your percentage grade, right, for TOEFL. Again, 50% is where we need to be, right? The 50% or more uh, is the percentage that we're shooting for, that we need to try to achieve uh, for these TOEFL listening uh uh, exercises or review. All right, finally, today's activity. Are there any questions about today's activity? My teacher. Yes. Uh, well, we have to record the video in Teams and then upload it in Flipgrid, right? That's correct. And you there's different ways that, that you can do it, right? Ideally, like if I were you, I would record myself in, in uh, Microsoft Teams. I would share my screen so that I could share my, um, my file so that I could speak, I could talk, and the audience can see what notes that you created in your document. Okay, that's ideal. Um, if you have problems with recording yourself, um, you can simply upload a video without sharing your screen, okay, if, if broadband is a problem, okay? But ideally, I would, for this, uh, for this exercise, I would like to see the file, the Word document or Excel or PowerPoint that you created. So while I listen to you, I can also see your notes, okay? But I'll accept either way uh, for, for this exercise. Yes, 
but we have to record it like in teams or just well in our team or just uh me for example okay, every, it's, every, an, it's an individual uh recording okay so yeah. this this exercise today was for you it's more of an individual uh activity okay but there is part of it that i want you to practice with your teammates in in your recorded team so for example you might have one recording as with all the team your team members where you're all practicing uh you know practicing saying what you're going to say in your flipgrid video no. and you can then give each other feedback say oh i like this <clears throat> maybe try this <clears throat> check this you know check this word or whatever being polite and helping each other and then when you're ready close the the meeting with your team and then each of you can create your own meeting and record yourself uh you know record yourself saying the video and then you can upload that video to flipgrid that's one way to do it um if it's a problem if you you know i'll take Take it either way if you want to create the video in Microsoft Teams or if you just want to create a video on your phone, right? But if you can show some sort of visual um, representation of the ideas that you're ex expressing, then that would be ideal, right? Because I'd like to see, again, what you wrote out, if you wrote out notes, if you wrote out some sort of mind map, if you just have you know, notes in, in a PowerPoint. That's what I would like, like to see. But again, I'll take either way. If, if broadband or technology is a problem and you can just upload your video directly to Flipgrid using the Flipgrid app, then that's fine also. Uh, okay, teacher. Yeah, yes. okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions, my friends? <laughs> no, teacher, thank you. I know we went uh, over a little bit, but I wanted to, I wanted to review uh, the podcast, your scores for listening, and clarify any doubts that you have for today's activity. It's really important that you guys schedule time for yourself in addition to all of the uh, work responsibilities and school responsibilities that you have. That was the reason for this activity is to for you to really think about and how and prepare how you would explain. Uh, scheduling time for yourself. Okay, remember that you can also talk about hypotheticals by saying could, right? I could do this, I could do that when maybe it's not something that you're doing right now, but that you're thinking about it and you think, well, maybe I should do that in the future. All right, guys, we'll stop there for today. I uh, hope you guys have a great day today for the rest of the day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you, Mike. Thank you. 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 Thank you.